So Comic Con graced us with a new trailer for the new King Kong movie, Kong Skull Island, starring Tom Hiddleston, Brie Larson, John Goodman, and Samuel Jackson, who can't say no to anything. And he can't seem to stay out of the jungle. We just saw him in Legend of Tarzan, and now he's back at it again in Kong Skull Island, and he's doing his classic Jacksonisms. He's even monologuing in this one. He's pretty much saying, Y'all don't know a goddamn thing. And it'll be fun. <laughs> and it'll be funny. If just like in Deep Blue Sea, he's giving his monologue, he's rising up, he's getting powered up, he's he's hyping himself up and the rest around him, and this all of a sudden King Kong comes out of nowhere and just grabs him and eats him right in the middle of the speech. That would be that I would give this movie a ten out of ten if they do that. But I saw the trailer and I was kind of interested in the movie. I mean at first they're trying to keep the rights to King Kong, so they're making another King Kong movie, but then word got out that this was not only going to be the biggest iteration of the big ape himself, measuring at about a hundred feet, but this is going to be the same Kong that's going to go up against Garrett Edwards' Godzilla. And then this trailer comes out, I watched it, and it definitely has me even more excited for the movie. The cast overall is great. I mean, say what you want about Sam Jackson, but sometimes he does bring certain things to the table that no other kind of actor can bring. But then you got John Goodman, Brie Larson, you got half of the, the NWA in this movie. And of course, Loki himself, Tom Hiddleston, who I think could pull off being a leading man with this vehicle. But to me, the biggest star of this movie is, of course, Kong himself, no pun intended. I'm loving the design of Kong himself in this movie. I mean, we didn't see too much of him. We see snippets of him, and that's what you're supposed to do with a teaser trailer. You can't just show all of King Kong and just blow your load too early. You see little snippets of him, and I dig the design for this version of Kong. A lot of people don't, but I like how they're hearkening back to that original 1933 King Kong, where, yeah, you can tell it's a claymation doll from that original 1930s version, or even the dude in the suit later on in the 1970s which is actually where this movie takes place in but there's something scarier about the qualities of that Kong where he looks a little bit more sl slim and humanoidish that I find I find a little bit more creepy than Peter Jackson's King Kong where he was pretty much just a gorilla just giant and the cinematography and the camera work is very on point in this movie like the cinematography reminded me an awful lot of apocalypse now sometimes a little too much where i feel like that's what they're trying to reach for but i feel like maybe when we actually see the movie that cinematography is going to blend in with the story with the characters and the atmosphere that really makes this island skull island as well as king kong himself genuinely scary so what do you guys think about the trailer are you going to go see this movie does the trailer change your opinions about whether or not this is just a cash grab by universal to kind of start up this new universe or are you genuinely excited about the treatment of this movie from the cinematography to the cast and the actual iteration of Kong himself please post in the comments below like the video share it and please subscribe let's go ahead and hit 5,000 very soon see you guys later